Uh, welcome back everyone, it's a special day today, and I mean it is a special day. Unbelievably, it has been one year, one year since I came onto YouTube, and came onto YouTube right when the whole uh, pandemic started. Wow, it's been a year plus, a whole man. Year. A whole year. It's been longer than a year, and I mean, what, what the biggest thing that got to me is, uh, coming onto YouTube was a great escape, because we were looking forward to going to Liverpool Regionals. We were, we were hot on the tournament trail, and... Uh... Lockdown happened and we stopped playing. Yeah, so uh, by a strange twist of fate, we, we we had to start buying products. You know, surprisingly, everyone We're, else did. <laughs> yeah, everyone else did. So we, you know, part of that whole uh, community that started spiking the prices, I suppose, buying yeah. stuff at home. Uh, but before, we only used to buy stuff for the decks that we were playing. Really, it was never. Yeah, I'd open the occasional booster box because, like. Pre Sun and Moonish, I had collections, but nah, not anymore. Yeah, I mean, I was, well, I was pretty much the same, but not the same because I still collected the the What's Era stuff, so yeah. and I was a bit of a collector. And look how that ended up. We ended up with like seven, eight decks. Yeah, seven, eight <laughs> decks. So they're all to come in the future. But I say mainly the, the the it's just evolved. This channel has it's been a nice little outlet for the last last year. Yeah, it gives something to do for lockdown, right? Yeah, exactly. And you joined in after after well Christmas time. You know, you joined in. Yes, so, that made the channel better, someone yeah, say. Yeah, <laughs> he made the channel a lot better. Bringing I don't more. need a script, he does. Yes, I, <laughs> I don't need a script. <laughs> yes, I do need a script. No, I mean, it's been amazing. It's been a great, great year. And as I say, to celebrate, I mean, what, what have we got today to celebrate, man? Uh, we go back to the shelf. Ooh, the shelf? Ooh. We got the shelf. For one of these bad boys. We've got another booster box from the latest set. And this one is beat up to hell. <laughs> so we're going to open it and we ain't keeping it. <laughs> That's it, yeah, we can't keep this one on the shelf. I'll tell you what, we've had some new little uh, display boxes as well for these little theme decks. Quite cool. A couple of quick. Yeah. Not bad. But as I say, with it being our birthday, what more? Okay, so that went down in value. <laughs> yeah, I mean. <laughs> I mean, that speaks volumes about the channel, right? Yeah, it does. Yeah. I mean, that that's how low-key we are here, I suppose. But that's why you put stuff in a case, is it? And uh, it doesn't want to stand up now, does Ground it? on wants to be on the ground. Okay. Uh, ground on. Uh, but anyway, it's a year, it's a party. We're going to do this massive booster box opening. And I've bought some of these party cannons. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how this is going to go. And I'm honestly pretty scared. Uh, if the room becomes a mess... He's cleaning it up. Yeah, I mean, it just says twist here, and um, with a big party can. <laughs> so, like, so. on, like, on three, we say happy first anniversary. Yeah, Pop? yeah, why not? Yeah, oh, happy first anniversary on YouTube! Woo! Oh, oh. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> I twisted the wrong way, yeah, like, it seems. Shall we go? <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm, I'm so like, yes, I'm gonna, I don't know how big you these know, are. And... <laughs> Uh, happy God. first anniversary, Happy guys. first anniversary. Wow. I mean... Yeah! Apparently not. Okay, even worse. Happy first anniversary. Wow. Why did these wow. not even work? What, these are trash. Where did you buy them? Tesco. <laughs> Tesco, I'm going to put a complaint. Oh, we something turned. Oh. Ah, it's turning. It's turning. <gasps> oh. I don't know what's going on. I I'm scared, guys. I mean, let's break the wrapper off, we might get a bit of it. Hey! Hey! Hey, look at that! Look at that! Hey! hey. Sorry, we were just having you on. We knew how to work a <laughs> I mean, I didn't, but happy first anniversary, Yeah, guys. happy first anniversary! Thank, thank you for all those people that are still in the comments, and still comments, even though the past few videos we've been stuck with low edit style. Um, at some point one of us is going to have to learn how to edit, because... Wow, this is probably going to be like one take and it's going to be horrible, so... We're going to get to the booster box. Same thing we did last time with the other booster box. It's just going to be us chatting over a booster box. It's not going to be anything special. Uh, we hope you enjoy. That's, let's get into it. Let's get into it. Here we are with the Battle Styles box. It's boom, our boom, birthday. Boom. It's our birthday. And what do we do on our birthday? We open presents. Yeah. And, oh God, this present brought to you by Tom Mangling Boxes again. Oh my God. Right. Who cares about value on resale? Not me. I ain't no scalper. Oh, I keep saying that people won't believe it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Make people believe that I'm a scalper, really. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't do that. You know, I, we should constantly support our local LGS, because that's where we get all our stuff from. We do. Let's, uh, let's get some open, because I remember last time we were fighting over... Uh, packs like we were like, at the end we were like oh no we need yeah, to finish we, yeah, we, we, need to, we need to finish opening before uh, we get through with it but, but talk about a year a year ago regionals 
Chef, re- uh, yes. Liverpool. What were you going to play? Probably ADP, as far as I'm aware. ADP, wow. Yeah. It's been, that, it's been around that long, isn't it? My opinions on the deck has changed significantly. Oh, uh, mind Fu, Baltoy, and a Houndoom to start. Oh, you wanted that one last time. You got it last time. I, I did, yeah. I mean, having some hollows is nice, because I've got a bunch of uh, non-hollow ones <laughs> from the, uh, the what's-it set. Yeah. The, uh, what are they called? Pre-releases. Release, or yeah. build and battle kit, should I say. No, it's nice to chill, nice to chill. No, no crossover editing, it's nice to chill, open it up. I know, have, yeah. Have a chat. And if you're down below, drop us a comment if you've been here since the beginning. That'll be interesting. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know if you can check who the first person ever was, but like... Um, I think because like, you get notified um, on notifications when, when you're under a certain amount. Oh, yeah. And uh, I think I've got like all of them saved, so I can probably look it up. Ah, whoever that person is, it's good. And... A Corviknight VMAX. Max. It's our second one. It's our second one, which is really good, because I actually might play this at some point, depending on how standard looks when we go back to playing. Mm. Nice. nice. I'll let you put that off yeah. screen for you to sleeve. I'll sleeve it up. I've got yeah. some sleeves here. Oh, I really should be separating the energies, because like, that's a mess to sort out in the future. Right. Also, uh, for those who are watching around about this time, uh, Chilling Rain and also the set after that, the Japanese set has been announced. Are any of those cards that you're after or looking forward to? I really like the, uh, was it the alternate arts from Chilling Rain that got announced and then the Metagross VMAX. Mm. It's not that good, but like it looks baller as a card. And uh, I also have a, uh, a, what you call it, a Metagross in my. Uh, Nuzlocke on Ultra Sun at the moment. Oh yeah, you're doing a Nuzlocke at the moment, aren't you? Yeah, I'm doing a, Nuz- uh, a Nuzlocke, so that's fun. I've never had to think about a Pokemon game so hard in my life, including the card game. Uh, Horsey? Oh, and an shoot. Urshifu. <laughs> I feel like we're just going to hit a dry spell in a minute. It's <laughs> nothing. Yeah, it's... Let's sleeve that up. It's three white cards. Not too bad, not too bad. Yeah. I mean, I still, I'm still looking for level ball and uh, XP share in Secret Rare. Also, as well, Tom, uh, do a shout out as well. Uh, you're on the cube. On the cube? Yeah, you're playing cube, aren't you, at the moment? Oh yeah. Okay. Some some shilling for those people who do or do not know about the cube format. So for those who don't know, uh, you can play Pokemon in a different format from standard, expanded, whatever. It's a draft format for Pokemon, which normally for Pokemon doesn't really work because of evolution lines and stuff like that, but. As long as you build the cube right, it's actually really fun. And if you are interested in cube, I recommend either going to the Legends Box uh, Facebook page. I assume there'll be a, like a link in the description. And also the uh, Pokemon TCG Cube Discord server. If you ever want to play cube online with like-minded people, or you want to show your cube to the world, it's great. And we've even we've got a new website made as well called Cube Koga. So you can look at all the deck lists and all the cube lists if you want to build one of them yourself. And I pause it, Jason. That's really cool. I mean, you, you play, uh, and they got a YouTube channel as well, P3, is it? They do. Uh, the P3 podcast. Uh, if you want to listen and get more up to date, those guys will describe it much better than I will. Also, uh, Omnipoke's video on Cube is a really good one to start with if uh, you don't know what it's all about. I started with that one personally. And uh, yeah, Cube's fun. I uh, recently entered a Cube League, which is one of the things you can do on the Cube server. They have Cube League so you can earn points, kind of like uh, what you do with Standard when you earn points through events. You can do the same thing with uh, Cube. And uh, I got my butt handed to me. I went, uh, f- was it 3-3 three, three in the end, my record. Uh, I lost to Omnipoke Joe in the uh, my final round, which would have put me into at least top 16 for points, but... Regardless, and uh, mine shall regular rare. Well, then the breaks at the end of the day, I mean... Yeah, I mean, my deck was decent to a certain extent, but, like, I just... I got high-rolled in a lot of games where normally I might have just won or otherwise not, you know. I mean, but <laughs> I can't say much. I high-rolled with Guzzlord. <laughs> in cube format, Guzzlord's Glutton GX is a bit broken, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I think I won so many games by just uh, calling Glutton GX for three prizes <laughs> and just watching my opponents just like, oh, while well, you won the game, then hey, look at that. Oh. Hello, Age Slash. Nice. It's a shame the other Age Slash from this set, because uh, Stance Change lets you switch with another Age Slash. Mm, yeah. It's a shame that the other Age Slash is a regular rare and this one is hollow. 
Yeah. But, eh, that's cool. Yeah, as I said, and to be honest, talking about Godzilla like, as you're playing it, one of my, um, I would say, the unluckiest tournaments I played at our local game shop was when a guy came playing Guzzlord. <laughs> and uh, I think he must have played Guzzlord a lot because he, he, it just it just ran out straight away. It just ran through the deck really good. And I didn't even know what was coming, to be honest. <laughs> I mean, I'd slept on the card. Yeah, I mean, the whole strategy of 59 energy is hilarious, but you don't want to do it too often. Yeah, I know. But... And like a lick. It definitely got me off guard. It always stuck in my memory because I remember sitting there and I was like, I mean, he's got how many mulligans? Yeah. Uh, let's get the judge. Let's get some. Let's get the game started. Come on. Yeah, I remember. I remember specifically as well being a judge. I had to do. I didn't do it twice. People calling judge on opponents mulligans for Chandelure. Mm. And it's just like, oh yeah, that's a deck that happens, you know. Uh, I, I, you know what? I, I don't miss judging at the moment. It's nice to have the freedom <laughs> of just. Casually playing games and not really being too fussed. Hey, look at that. A full oh, around. Right, nice. And a Slazzle. Slazzle. Well, if Pro you want to play Slazzle, you've got all the cards anyway. Yeah, probably one of the better regular rares from the set, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, it's quite nice, isn't it? Really? Yeah, the attack with Weeping Bell. Mm. Please, Pokemon, make more cards like Slazzle. I really like it. Also, cards like this Yamper that I've just seen. Yeah. Uh, it's, I really like the, the Yamper from the set. Okay. Tower of Darkness, Karina, there it is. Yamper. Uh, it reminds me of the... Oh, is it Fungus or Among Us? Jokes in the comment about Among Us references. Uh, but it allowed you to go get a Pokeball when you played on the bench. This lets you get a Pokeball and a Great Ball. And if it wasn't for the fact that it's just a Yamper and nothing use, it's just kind of useless, yeah. I would put it in my cube just because fetching Ball Search is great. Yeah. Uh, Blitbug and an Across movie. Hey. Uh, I, I think we got one last time. Either that or I pulled it on uh, off camera. Because oh. I do know I have one of these. Nice, it? Yeah, well, I mean, I didn't remember, remember playing uh, Necrozma. I actually enjoyed it in the end. Which um, Necrozma did you play? Or did you play all of them? Uh, uh, well, I put the um, the second variant, the one with oh my memory. Wow. Well, yeah, yeah, the Malamar one. The Malamar, the Malamar one. one. You could yeah. use all of them with Malamar. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, oh, well, I put a reverse in the wrong pile. Yeah, I played it. Let's put it that way. I can't you played what, it. I can't remember what the deck list was. Wow. Hone Edge, Gligar, Electabuzz. Hey, look, they referenced Haymaker on a card. Yeah. Bellsprout, <laughs> Frillish, and Phalanx. Regular. Yeah. yeah. I like, like, I don't know. Phalanx is growing on me. We've not known it for too long because of, uh, obviously, came out in Sword and Shield era. Yeah. yeah. But it's growing on me. Like, a lot of Pokemon are actually growing on me as a whole because uh, playing this Nuzlocke, I've played with a lot of Pokemon I never normally would. Yeah. And so it's been nice to have. Like, I didn't think I'd love Herdia so much. Like, I look at Herdia, I'm like, eh, it's a boring card, a boring uh, Pokemon. It has a good card, mm. but, like, I believe it's called, uh, the ability is Treasure Hunt on it. But, like, everything else is kind of met about it. Do not like Perugly, though. I don't think I'll ever love it. And Victory Bell. I mean, I know exactly what you're talking about there, because, like, I grew up in the, like, playing Pokemon Yellow and Red and Blue. And I always have the same team. I'd always start off. <laughs> no matter which one I play, even like I played it a couple of years ago, I'd, I'd have the same Pokemon. Start the same, same, same way, same stuff. And recently I've been playing Crystal. And I've purposely gone out of my way to actually use Pokemon I didn't have last time. Or I haven't played through before. So it's quite interesting. Got a Crobat! Yeah, yeah, we so both we got, uh, Crobat. got Crobats for the first time. We kind of like looked at each other across the room and we're just like, hey, you got a Crobat. Hey, I got a Crobat. <laughs> it was. Uh, it was a moment. Hey, look at that yeah. Tapu Bula. Yeah, I've never really spent that much time to get the, the, the friendship up on it. Know, yeah, on it's, it's not something I never really do is friendship. And our rare is an Empoleon oh, V. Nice. Hey, look at that. That's two, two, I think. Hitting all the, the regular Vs. I mean, technically we've hit a VMAX. Yeah. But, like, I want a full art or a rainbow. Or even an alternate art. Please give me an alternate art. I love those things. <laughs> Yeah, it's, I, th I think as the channel's grown, I've been hitting into a few more better polls. I mean, they start the channel in some places, isn't it? Dry. Yeah. But that's that's what happens. I mean, that's about. that's that's why you buy a box, mate. You yeah. <laughs> you'll uh, you'll guarantee the polls. Yeah, that's it. Like the best person ever, this Cherubi. <laughs> also, I can't be the only one that thinks Cherubi and Cherum should be the other way around in names. Mm. Pr say if I'm right or wrong in the comments. And I rare is an Electivire. Boo. I mean, it's a cool Pokemon, but like... Yeah. 
Alexa Buzz. It kind of Buzz. felt like they pushed uh, like, to Buzz a bit too far, giving it a baby one and then giving it a what. Just... Yeah, they did that. Like, I don't think it's the worst offender. I think the worst offender is Smoochum. Mm. Because yeah. who out there was like campaigning, we need a baby Pokemon for Jinx? <laughs> yeah, I think it was damage control when the. Uh... Oh, wow, I've put a bunch yeah. of cards in the energy oh, pile. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. I've made a mess, everyone. That's all right. Comment down below, Tomoe's a. Uh, dum dums. Oh, I just keep opening the packs. It's all right. Ah, yeah, it's true. That's what they're here for. All right, Speedy, uh, Perugly. That is a run ender if you're playing uh, Pokemon Platinum as a Nuzlocke, as I found out after watching some people play it. Because, uh, funnily enough, I'm going to be Nuzlocking Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. I don't know which one I'm buying yet, though. We had that in Gold Card in the last one. So we did. We out? did. Yeah, uh, up there. Check that video out. And our uh, hey, look at that. It looks Ray. Nice. Hey, Rapid Strike Energy with the. Uh, Ah, oh, it's only water and fighting. Fight, yeah. You can't just attach one and then have done with. I was really disappointed. Speaking of Rapid Strike Energy in reverse, the Urshifu boxes. Mm -hmm. We've not opened any on the channel. Spoiler alert, yeah, we didn't find any. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, the Urshifu boxes come with the relevant energy. So mm -hmm. Rapid Strike came with Rapid Strike Energy and Single Strike came with Single Strike Energy. I thought they were going to make them Cosmo foil. Sure. You know, like they do with most yeah. promos. But they just... They just cheaped out, they put a reverse in, and it's like super disappointing because I was like, I'm gonna pre order it now. <laughs> Not gonna pre order them now. Uh, Chimeco, Electa Buzz Haymaker Reverse, and a Marowak. Wah, wah. Marowak actually scared me because uh, playing the Nuzlocke, mm -hmm. Alolan Marowak. <laughs> I went in with all of the the tech, I was gonna use Thief to seal its, uh, its giant bone, I was gonna do this, that, the other, and and then all of a sudden I realised, oh yeah, I've got a mud bray, I'm just going to bulldoze it. And then <laughs> ended up sweeping. Nice. Indeedy. Oh, crodon. <laughs> Look at that, some water to go with him. Glaring Mr. Mime, Bellsprout, Onyx, Spiru. A reverse mind shower, that's pretty good. It's a reverse rare. And Stonjourner. I still don't know how to feel about him. Look at, look at his little face, he's like, hi! I'm just gonna slam you into the ground. <laughs> It'd be really cool if he like evolved into something, like like into a Stonehenge, mm. like full on, because he's like a part of Stonehenge, just like like the rest of it. Nah, I feel like he needed a baby. So like, I don't know, like those little posts they have around to like say like distance markers. Mm. It was like one of them, and oh, then yeah. and then like it evolved, and then you got like a full Stone Jonah. That would have been cool. Mm. I don't know. I think a full Stonehenge would be too big of a Pokemon design for yeah. for like yeah. general use. That's not a legendary anyway. Yeah. Mantis, Spiro, Zubat. I still love the yeah, uh, the stitching. Yeah. yeah, the cross stitch, whatever they call it. So good. A reverse Bronzong. That's pretty good. Yeah, that goes with uh, our Corviknight for the deck. And Vivalian. Disappointing rare. Yeah. Oh. And this mega messed up pack. I mean, the, the box was pretty beat up anyway, so I can't really complain. As long as the cards inside are safe, we are fine. Well, that's it. We're not sending any of these to Grey, you know, let's face it. Of course, PSA closed. Yeah, PSA closed. Uh, did anyone else want to put anything in for PSA and then get denied because of the uh, the overflow? Or are you uh, one of the few people that are changing over to CGC? Mm, yeah. I, I recently saw that they graded a Pokemon Illustrator card. They did, yes. Um, it's, it's really funny that, that these things sort of come out the wood, the woodwork when there's like some something big going on. It's like, oh yeah, we'll suddenly grade this card all of a sudden. Yeah, I think it's a mar I think it's a marketing ploy because yeah. like PSA goes dark, CGC is getting a little attention, and then all of a sudden, oh look, we've got a uh, an Illustrator card just lying around. Yeah. I I call I call the shenanigans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean. Uh, Albeit well, though, I did actually get a, an email back from um, like the, the grading service that I'm using. Oh yeah, so, I, so did you make stuff... a video on it? No, I didn't because oh. uh, I initially filmed the um, stuff that I sent off to the PSA way back over a year ago now, and then my computer died and I lost the footage. Ah, oh, so, rip! Um, it's going to be. A Can I get surprise. some Fs in the chat for <laughs> for uh, losing footage? And uh, oh, no, Big Teeny! Hey, look at that. So all being well, as I say, when it come when they come back, I'll do a video on, the, on when they come back. I mean, I, the, it's now looking like they'll be coming back within the next month or so, hopefully. Yeah. Because they're in, I think they're in QA one. I think they're in email like the other day, so they're going through the like the checks to make sure no one's like you know yeah. giving it a, a, a better grade than they should do. I suppose. 
yeah, all that nonsense goes over my head. I've not put any PSA. However, I have got a pile of cards that I want to I want to PSA at some point. So uh, that'll be nice. Timber and Prime Ape. Some uh, annoyingly boring rares. Yeah, that's not what we open Pokemon cards for. No, no, we want the big shiny cards to go like really over the top and like jump out of the seats. Yeah, I mean, well. <laughs> for those who know me and or just watch this kind of video, I don't really react too much when I open cards. It's I like lovable. I do stuff like that. I'm just like, oh, that's neat. You know, I'll just be like, eh, whatever. I like when I'm watching you opening cards, though. I mean, it's like, <laughs> you sit there, you'll, you'll pick a card, and it's like, oh, that's a collector's card, and you're like, eh, it's not playable. <laughs> yeah, it's not playable. Uh, victory Bell. It's not relevant. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I was like, nah, it's trash. Like... Although re ever recently, like I say, playing cube a lot, I've I've noticed a lot more cards just are much better because mm. like I I won't look at it as a a standard card anymore. I'll look at it in cube. Mm. Like we were talking in the cube Discord uh, recently about a curlier that's in the next set that like when it attacks it fetches three other curliers from deck and it was like oh my god God of War just had a buff in cube because of this one card that no one else in the world cares about but cube players. It was like. <laughs> It was pretty funny. Hey, here comes the pull. Hey, hey look at that. Nice. Oh, we've got two V Maxes now. I'm not. I don't like my chances at something else fancy now. Yeah, I think you. I think you'll be stretching now for a, a gold or something. Oh. Like that, I think. I think that's. Uh... I really want a gold card though. Mm, might be. You never know. I. Uh, I will bless the rest of the box with all my might. That's why you started kicking it around the back. <laughs> yeah, that's why I was kicking it around. I already knew it had nothing in it. I was like, why did I buy this stupid box? Hey, look, it's Chris's favourite. Oh, yeah, I love that one. Can I rip it up? Sure thing. Sure, great. Done. Beautiful. <laughs> Glad me, I was like, oh, I don't want that to happen to me. And Silly Cobra's like, please, no! <laughs> hey, look, Tom, we know it's real because it's all got that black film in it. Hey. <laughs> hey, look, it's a bishop. And a glare, Mr. Rhyme. Ball juggling. Yeah. Yeah. Buster Rhyme, man. Buster Rhyme? Yeah. Buster Mr. Rhyme. Cool. I actually don't know any Buster Rhyme songs, so I can't finish the joke, but you know. Yeah, that's fine. Whatever. Not my cup of tea. No, it is my cup of tea. What, Poltergeist? I was going to say Yorkshire tea, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look at that level. Single strike energy. Ah, it's not some. It's pretty decent on commons in that pack. Mankey. Glaring slew, pook, fermenters. Talking about Yorkshire tea, I'd love to see Sean Bean open some Pokemon cards. Well, there's. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> I thought you were just going to say, I'd love to see Sean Bean. I was like, in there an advert where he just shouts at people. Yeah, yeah, there's a... And a hollow type of to go with our uh, reverse one earlier. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Sean Bean. But he's a living spoiler. I'm pretty sure if we brought Sean Bean onto the. Onto the channel, it'd be like, okay, how are they gonna kill him? It's just like we're opening, <laughs> we're opening Pokemon cards. How are we gonna kill him? We'll find a way. We'll find a way. Yeah, we'll just have hey, a look hat. at that level ball. We've nice. almost got a playset out of this. Nice. Shink. I mean, I've got, I've already got a playset somewhere. Comment down below. How should we kill Sean Bean on the channel? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if we ever, for some reason, meet Sean Bean, how do we kill him on the channel? Yeah. This will be pretty good. Again, I look at cards yeah. for the uh, the value in cube and finding two stage twos and just putting them on your bench is pretty neat. Yeah, like a lily. But yeah, it's pretty fun. I'm pretty sure by the end of all these boxes, your collection's going to be finished. Uh, most likely, I suppose, yeah. Um... yeah. Besides the Vs and GXs, I guess. Well, Vs and V Maxes. Everything else is pretty much filled in. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, I'm starting to run out of storage space for more boxes. <laughs> And that, kids, is why you bulk sell. Yeah, that's why you sell it. <laughs> yeah, because after you've seen the 50th Pachirisu, you don't want to see another. Because otherwise you'll get Grumpig. <laughs> no, okay. Can't call I deserve that. <laughs> I concur. I concur, sir. Shwing. Throwing packs everywhere. I know, yeah, thanks. I, I, know. I, 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 just I mean, the room's already a mess from the uh, the party poppers. Oh, yeah. Mr. Man, Bell Sprout, Onyx, Spirit, Slazzlepup, Mankey, and uh, Vivalian again. You know, you know what I'm going to do? Year two, I'm going to get myself a t shirt, Karen. You're going to get a t Who are we? We are not anywhere. I mean, to be fair, I guess, what are we like, 250? 
Uh, oh, well, it's on 220. So 220. Like, I guess yeah, if yeah. you were in a theatre, 200 odd people is enough for a t shirt cannon. Yeah. Comment down below, would you just show up to a random event where we just fired a t shirt cannon at you? Well, that's how I'm killing Sean Bean. <laughs> oh, that's. <laughs> okay, we figured out how we're yeah, going to kill yeah. Sean Bean. Be a Pokemon t shirt in a. You know. Yeah, that's. I mean, what a way to go, indeed. E. Indeed. E. Oh, oh, I got him. And. I can't call her again. Ugh. Oh, Gross. I'm pretty sure we burnt out pretty fast. I mean, I feel like I mowed one more pull. Yeah, I think we definitely mowed another pull. Right? Just one more pull. Hey, this time, Tom, we might be able to get to the end of the box without forgetting a pack. We might get to the bo end of the box without forgetting a pack. You're right. Although, you know, that was kind of funny. <laughs> yeah, I might do it on purpose. Who knows? Who knows? Tell you what, though. It's been a while since I did that. Yeah, I mean, the biggest thing, since, since I started working with you, man, I... Uh, I've four days on and four days off. It's been, it's <laughs> yeah, it's, been a trip. It's been hell on earth. Yeah. It's on Jonah. That's hell on earth. <laughs> yeah, if you didn't know, I work with my brother now. So. <laughs> yeah, so I make his life a living misery because now he comes to my workplace. But it's cool. I mean, yeah, it's cool. if it if it funds the uh, the opening of cards of the children's variety, we will uh, do that forever and a day. Oh, I'm uh, put, put in the wrong pile again. Urgh. I'm terrible at this. I think we should have a birthday cake after this. It's <laughs> a birthday cake. Yeah, I've actually got birthday cake. Okay. I mean, the viewers can't enjoy it, the view but we can. <laughs> yeah, the cake is a lie. Here's a meow stick. <laughs> God, <laughs> poor reference in a Pokemon video. It's, it's decent cake. Yeah, I mean, any cake's decent cake, right? We work, in a, cake. <laughs> we work in a cake factory. Yeah, we do work in a cake factory. Yeah. So, yeah. Cake is the best. People always say, "Oh, it must be really good working in a cake factory because you must like really like the smell." No, nah, after a while you just don't smell it. No, I swear my nose is just gone. Hey, look at it. it reverse meow stick to go to meow stick. Oh, hey, yes, look at that! Woo! There's a full art. Yeah. I mean, it's not of a card I actually want or care about, but Stratton Monster is cool. Yeah, I mean, it's like uh, Archie's Ace in the Hole and stuff like that. Come yeah. on, focus. There we go. Yeah. Do you like his red pony? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like... I've not played the DLCs, but like, Mustard seems like a cool guy. Yeah, he's alright. Yeah. I can see him sitting there eating some Halman's mustard. <laughs> Living up to his name. Yeah. Yeah. It's the sponsor kid for it, isn't it? It's a sp it's sponsor grandpa. That, that would be the weirdest <laughs> Pokemon tie-in. It's like, hey kids, uh, how do we how do we sell mustard to kids? Uh, isn't there a character in our in our video game called Mustard. Imagine what, it, we could actually use this to play, uh, is it, is it, uh, Cluedo? Uh, who, who the, the, the... Oh yeah, <laughs> Colonel Mustard. Colonel Mustard. Yeah, <laughs> frillish. We've got trivial. the colour! <laughs> it's Colonel Mustard. It was Tomoe in the game room with a pack of battle styles. Yeah. Who knew? <laughs> <laughs> with a Pokemon Brick energy box. Yeah, a 450 energy box that we get in every every event that we ever do. Ugh. Effort, shanks, a bleep bug, a poignard. Hey, look, a reverse age slash from that age slash we had earlier. And an Electivire. Like, I mean, getting reverse holo rares isn't too too bad for collection. Yeah. I'm pretty sure the only reverse holo rare we've not had is Houndoom. I've not seen a reverse holo rare Houndoom. No, so, that's uh, on the horizon, I guess. Let's see if we can get it. Grumpug, scroll of scorn. Hey. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Cuban, Brillish, <laughs> Flipbug. I actually caught a uh, a Brooks ish in. Oh, my... there he is. That's Crobat. Nice. It's not Houndoom. But yeah, there's a Crobat. But yeah, I uh, I caught one of these uh, abominations and I called it Mistake. <laughs> mistake. Yeah, I called it Mistake. I said Scorch. Because I was just like. <sighs> I because I'm playing with the species clause in my Nuzlocke, the only Pokemon that was able to be ca to be caught in the fishing spot was a Bruxish. Oh. So I was like, eh, if I catch it now, species clause somewhere else, I might be able to get like something better, like a Marini or something. Mm. And I was like, <laughs> half put the energy in the. Oh. Wow, Escape Rope, Tower of Water, Esper, Timber, Slowpoke, Clawfish, Salandit. A Sazel P and a Hollow Kingdra. Kingdra, nice. Nice. I actually really like this artwork. Mm. Like, 
Kingdra as a whole, I like. Kingdra's cool. Yeah, Kingdra's cool. Kingdra's cool. Okay, the 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 pack doesn't want to go. I think I've stolen it from his family. Wow, that really wow. was stuck to the bottom. Right, double checking. There's no it. Well, thanks. I got another box from the collection. Another empty box for the collection. Yeah. Good. Does anyone know what the number is that's under the flap on these as well? Like a number on the... It's probably just for production. Do you know the production number? Is it a production number? I assume so. I doubt they're going to label the pulls based on no, uh, a symbol or a logo or numbers. It'd be pretty cool then. I remember when uh, you opened Sun and Moon booster boxes that were rigged. Oh, yeah. That was a big mess up by Pokemon. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, it's the last pack, so I guess we'll go slow. It's a Zubat. He's going to hide in the shadows. Oh, there's the mustard uh, again. Mustard again. It's the other mustard, the single strike one. Because, like, look, he, he wears, like, a tracksuit, and then he uh, he pulls it off, and he's, like, he goes, like, super sane. He's, like, <laughs> Man. Man's got Master Roshi. And our last card of day is the other Aegislash Slash from oh, yeah, earlier. You did say about it. So. Yeah, I did say something about it. So, yeah, that was a box opening. I mean, it, like, personally, I think we could have done better. But yeah. this is the first anniversary. We are just celebrating by opening product. And, and eating cake. And eating cake later, yes. So here we are. Here are the lovely pulls for those who were... Uh, Skip through the video just to see what we pulled. There you go, guys. Yeah, thanks for your 10 seconds of watch time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to us. Hey. hey. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Get it. Put it. Put it. The place is the best. It's all, it's all gone to hell.